Good evening, everybody. This is Darth Tamanis here, or as you guys probably better know me, more personally, you should know me as Tim. I am here today, and I wanted to add a, another discussion topic that I think is very common with um, the people that are on the Minecraft server. And I, something that I've just noticed with a lot of uh, friends that I have, and people just kind of my age that are into gaming. Um, and that's just having a, a family game night. You know, I could think back in my own past, in my own life, um, just what what fun I had gaming with my family. I'll be the first to admit, my dad never, that I remember, sat down and played a video game with me. My dad and my mom all still gamed with me. We had family game night. We sat around... We play games like Skipbo. If you've never heard of Skipbo, I don't know why it was so popular with my family back in Kansas. I'm originally from Kansas. Um, Skipbo is like a card game, and it, it's a lot of fun to play. Um, but we we just played the junk out of it. Played it all the time. We played a lot of Monopoly um, as a family. Um, I remember playing um, chess with my dad. One of uh, one of my greatest achievements <laughs> as a a boy turning into a man was beating my dad in chess for the first time. Oh, man, he was mad. He actually threw the board across the room. He was so mad. Um, and, you know, it, it just kind of brings up just some of the, the fun memories that I have of gaming with my family. Like, I remember playing, um, you know, what, chess with my dad. Anytime he and I would play a game. It didn't matter what game we were playing. It was like shoots and ladders or something that's really, really stupid. Like he was very, very intense, very, very, very serious, very, very competitive. Even when I was like five or six years old, like he would, you know, not really let me win. He wouldn't let me take the easy way out. Like he would be a fierce competitor. Um, and I think that's that's an important lesson to learn. I, I love playing with my dad. But he's very, very serious. Even still, like if he and I go play golf together, which I love golf, yay, Masters. Masters was this past week. He and I went to the, the Masters uh, course a couple years back. But like him and I playing golf together, like there are times when we first started that it was just complete and utter misery because we both were so competitive. We would try to make sure that we were better than the other one, or, or if we saw someone's shoulder slipping, we would let him know and all that fun stuff. My dad's serious. He's very, very serious. I remember playing with my mom. My mom's not very, very serious when playing. She was the kind that would always make sure that, you know, me as the young one in our family, that I had, um, you know, a fair chance against all the other people in our family. And, and that I was playing and, and making sure that I was playing fairly and rightly. And, and she was the one who would always kind of surrender herself to let me win and, and let me get past her. Like, she was just a kind, loving soul, the way you would expect a mother to be. She was just a, you know, I had a great mom. She always told me I was the best at everything that I did. No wonder I think I'm the best person on the planet and the smartest it's my mom's fault. Like she taught me these things from a very, very early age that I was the best at all the things. Um, so yeah, I I don't wrestle with confidence. Like I know I am the best. My mom was sweet. She was good. She rarely ever won. I don't think my mom ever won when we gamed as a family. My brother um, is a cheater, notorious cheater. Like, any time we would play games, the guy would cheat. Like, he and I would play poker a lot with our cousins, and and my family would play poker a little bit. I love poker. Um, I don't think I talked about it last episode, but, like, I like to play poker, and it's kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. Um, so he and I would play poker, but he would always cheat, and it, it just kind of got frustrating. But you were just, you'd know that my brother would cheat. If he wins at something, like, you wouldn't think he did it fairly. You were like, oh, my brother, um, my brother's cheating. Nowadays, I think, like, if I had a family game night with, with my family, I think I would be applauded that I was spending time with my family. And yeah, I think there's also this negative connotation of what if I was playing with my family in video games? 
And I think you know, there's that that stigma of video games that it's it's an inappropriate use of your time. It's it's not right. So if excuse me, if I had family game night and it, it was video games, I think a, a lot of society um, would probably look at that and just kind of I don't want to say shun it. Um, but what's the difference really? Like I'm playing with my family. I do have family game night. My wife, my son, and I have a world we play in Minecraft together. We just got the game Worms here recently. I just recently got an Xbox One. Um, GameStop had a great deal on trading in the, the used Xbox 360. That's a whole other story. But I recently got an Xbox One. Finally got an Xbox One. We got Worms. I got Worms! We got the game Worms, which is a very family-friendly game. Anybody can win that game. And we sat and we played it, and it was so much fun. I think gaming is such a powerful tool to, to use with um, your family. Um, in me and my, my own life, and especially considering Minecraft, I have used gaming um, in many ways, just, just being with my family. Um, and it all really started with my son pooping his pants. <laughs> I'm going to let that sink in. I used video games as a way to help reinforce my son in getting him potty trained. We had tried for one full year. I mean, it was about a year to get... Um, my my oldest son, he's now five, um, potty trained where he would poop in the potty. We we tried many different awards. We tried M and M's. We tried all sorts of different things, and nothing seemed to work. Um, this is about the time I started playing Minecraft in general, and I noticed that like I would play Minecraft, and the kid would crawl up in my lap at a very early age, take the controller out of my hand, and just play with me. And it was just very, very sweet. It was a great time of, of parenting and fatherhood, and I, I loved it. But I realized then that, that maybe gaming was a way that I could use um, to help train my son how to use the potty correctly. And not like I you know, built a correct potty in-game and, and taught him how to use it that way. But I used it as a reward system where if, if he um, you know, went to the potty, guess what? I would let him play games. And so it was positive reinforcement there. It was able, um, it was something that really connected with him. It was something that he liked doing. He liked playing. So if you know anything about reinforcement issues, it's got to be a reinforcer that connects with the person um, that you're trying to reinforce the behavior. And gaming was it. Like he wanted to play video games so bad um, that he would do just about anything to play video games including pooping in the potty. Um, so that's how, um, first off, I started really playing with my son. My wife and I played a little bit. We didn't play much when we were dating. We play more now, and it's mostly just, you know, if there's a, a evening that we have together and we've watched all the shows that we normally watch or something like that, we'll throw in Minecraft. We'll work on our Minecraft world um, but, you know, gaming is a, a great way um, to use as a reinforcer. Gaming also teaches fairness. I mean, if you think about, you know, the rules of the game, um, some games are really, you know, good rules. They teach lots of good lessons, resource management, and things like that. It's one of the things I love about Minecraft is if you want to build something, there's creative mode, right? And, and you just have infinite resources. But if you're playing in survival world or vanilla experience, guess what? You've got to go cut down those trees. You've got to go, like I've got this little tree farm over here. Um, all these trees are the slabs that I'm using to, to build this house. Like you've got to go out... If you want to do something, you kind of have to plan ahead. You kind of have to count the cost. If you want to build a certain thing, there's a recipe for it that says, hey, if you want to build this, this is how you do it. These are supplies you need. So you're teaching your kids in many ways when, when playing gaming, specifically Minecraft and other games, teaching them to, to count the cost. How many trees will you need to, to cover a floor this big? How many um, pieces of stone will you need to make this? And it, it just teaches them certain lessons that you know you could teach them budgeting 
um, and whatnot, and and it be successful. But if you could play a game and do it at the same time, it'll be lessons that they could really learn. Gaming teaches lessons that a lot of times we we don't really realize that it teaches, um, and a lot of it is just fairness planning things out, thinking ahead. I mean, thinking about chess and, and the things I learned in playing chess and and just kind of the type of thinking that you need to have to be good at chess and thinking forward and and you know, planning things out. Like, that's powerful tools, and some of the best ways to learn that is just by having fun gaming and playing video games. And lastly, the most important reason um, that I, I use gaming with my family is just to spend time together. Um, I think time with your your kids specifically, time with your wife, time with your family is is so important. Um, there are a lot of mistakes that I can make in teaching my children um, how to be a, a godly man. There are a lot of mistakes I can make in, in teaching um, my wife that I value her and I, I love her and, and some of the best ways that we can do things like that is just by spending time together, being together, and, and you know, just showing someone that you value them, you value their time, is really illustrated best by spending time with them. And gaming is a fun way just to spend time together. And, and just the the times that I I look back in my childhood of getting to play with my family, they're priceless. The times that I, I get to spend playing with Sam in Minecraft, yeah, I know I kind of record our adventures together, but it, it's times that he and I spent together. I started making YouTube videos um, just as a way to, he loved watching Minecraft YouTube videos, and I wanted him to watch them. I wanted him to watch ones that I felt were safe, so we just kind of recorded our adventures together um, so that he could have something to watch that I, I thought was, you know, family friendly. Um, I knew the content was good because we were making it. Um, I knew the, the the people in there weren't going to cuss because it was me and him. Our language is good, but more than anything, it's just documenting our time together. It's documenting. That I have a, a fun and wonderful, I don't like what I'm doing here, a fun and wonderful little boy. He is so smart, he is so good, he is so sweet, and I just get to spend time with him in a way that, um, you know, he he appreciates, he connects with, and I connect with, and I appreciate. You know, it's kind of like me and my dad playing golf together. My dad and I um, play golf a lot. You wouldn't think twice about, is this a good thing? My dad and I playing golf together, but you know, some people well, you play video games with your kids, and I, I, I could see and I know that there are issues that some people would have with it. But if we looked at it in other contexts of, I'm spending time with my kid. He and I are growing up together, playing together. He can talk to me, and he can talk to me very sincerely um, while we're gaming together, and, and we had an opportunity him and I, to just kind of talk about a problem that he was having at school. A um, problem that he was having with a, a friend who wasn't being very nice to him. So now that the rain stopped, I got a chance the other day to like really talk to my son. At, he had a, a friend at school who was not being um, very kind to him. And he um, was kind of hurt about this. Um, and I had tried to get him to talk to me about it all day, and, and he really wouldn't. He wouldn't open up to me. Um, and it, it, you know, of course, as a dad, it hurts your hurts your heart whenever you um, know that your your kid is not, I want to say, being treated right, but um, has an issue with another student. Um, it it hurts. Um, it also hurt that he wasn't really wanting to open up to me and talk about it, but. We sat down and we played, and, and it gave me an opportunity to, to, to just spend time with Sam, kind of hear um, like why he was upset, what was going on, and not only that, but gave me a chance to really talk to him about what it means to, to be a good friend, even when someone isn't being a good friend to you, and, and just finding ways to, to just use um, what he was going through um, as an opportunity to just kind of teach him um, how to to be, I don't want to say a better human being, but just 
uh, you know, learning how to be more Christ-like, learning how to be a better friend and loving those who are around him. And I really don't think I would have gotten that opportunity for him to really sit and share with me what's going on with him if he wasn't comfortable playing games and, and comfortable him and I just being together um, and talking. I know uh, it, uh, one thing I've learned from playing golf with my dad is, you know, he'll ask me how I'm doing, and I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Um, and by about the, the 11th or 12th hole, I'm, I'm, you know, comfortable. I'm able to open up to him and talk to him and kind of I love my dad. He's very wise, um, and I can get some very wise, sound advice from him. He's a good, godly man, but it takes me a while to, to just open up. Um, so I think gaming is just a, a great way to spend time um, with your family. It's a great way to show your family that you value them, you value their time, that you love them. Um, I'm not saying that if you don't game with your family, you don't love them. Um, but I am saying it's it's a great way to just um, be present with your family. And I think presence is such a, a um, powerful tool nowadays, um, just being present in, in people's lives and just being present, one, in, in your family's lives. We want to be good ministers to other people, but neglect being a good minister and steward to our family and our family time. We failed at really what God has called us to, to do, in my opinion. Um, and that's just, you know, if you want to, to, I'm teaching through this, if you want to be disciples, you've got to make um, if you want to make disciples, you got to be a disciple first. And, and so a lot of times, um, if we go out and, and make great disciples of the world but neglect our families, I feel like we failed. Um, so I think gaming is just a great way to open up doors with your family, um, spend time with your family, open relationships up with your family, um, and just create a, a, a atmosphere that, um, you know, one, you can use, I don't want to say use to manipulate them, but use to reinforce good or bad behavior, um, teach things that you wouldn't normally get to teach, or teach things in a fun way, and um, just, you know, be it rules or be it strategy or things like that. And I mean, honestly, just the best times just, just being together, having fun and working on something together. So, anyways, I'm Tim, or uh, Darth Tamanis, you can call me Tim, whatever. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, feel free to, to drop anything into the comments. Um, I just want to, to ask um, this question, this very last question. How has gaming with your family um, played an impact in your life? Um, and it doesn't have to be video games. It, and it doesn't have to be with your kids. I mean, just think about your own personal experiences with your parents. It's like how, how has gaming with them helped shape your life? Um, maybe I, I'm not alone in this. I love um, hearing from the other guys on this server as well and, and being a part of mine, um, this Church Mac Minecraft server. You'll find that a lot of the other men on this server um, game with their families, game with their children. It's a pretty awesome thing. Anyways, thank you guys for listening. Hope you enjoy. Feel free to drop a comment, a like, um, and all that other fun stuff. Anyways, this is Tim. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys later.